look at them through here. The date is February 7th here, and we're up on a, a knoll just by the golf course coming down at the east end of Rex Road in Point Roberts, Washington. And uh, as you see, the leaves are fallen here from the year before from the alder and from the alderberry and from the maple tree here. And these leaves have composted. It's well-drained soil. It's, so it's not very acidic soil. It's, uh, they grow in composts as well. And ri any rich soil that has been composted in, in your area with respect to leaves that have been left on the marge of the forest. You'll see a couple of evergreens here, that cedar and, uh, and fir. And this area though that we're filming here is, is sweeter ground in other words. And what, what's growing up here at this early date is stinging nettle. Now stinging nettle, people avoid it. If you Google it or if you're around it, people want tell you to avoid it. And I imagine most people try and cut it out of their area because they don't want their kids or anybody being stung. But this plant is one of the foremost medicinal plants for wild foraging in our area. Uh, it's a blood cleanser. It's really culinary in terms of its, its uh, 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 flavor. It, you can be used in the place of spinach. Um, it's, it's so uh, common that one can gather this forever uh, and not deplete it. In, uh, in other words, it's a renewable resource, wild, edible, medicinal plant. And so what we do is we come along here and we just clip underneath the fur part so you don't get stung. If you push down on it, you'll get stung. But you see, I'm not getting stung. So this plant here can be used in a tea infusion. Boil the water, let it stop boiling, throw it in, and you've got one of the best teas in the world. And if you are allergic, then this is the one to start eating early and drinking the tea of because it is, will stop any kind of uh, allergenic uh, reactions with the spring coming.